Welcome back to Sonic Generations HD. It's finale time. We have all seven Chaos Emeralds, so it's finally time to go confront the Time Eater. Let's do this. Do you ever start playing? Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Steven. You know I leave that bit there in the beginning, so I have time to waffle on and say hello, welcome back to the past, and so on. Now, uh, before we get to uh, possibly the worst final boss in the history of the franchise, we have the most pointless and redundant and boring little platforming section. Wait a minute, I, I can hear the whisper notes from the background. Padding! Pretty much. I have no idea why they put... I mean, I can kind of understand why this is here, but it's so slow, it, it, it kills the pace immensely. Yeah, you can see they're trying to go for some, like, epic build-up, but the boss completely destroys all momentum, and honestly, the lack of music just makes this so dull. Yeah, like, where's, where's, where's our epic white space time remix of Clock Zone? Come on, where's that, man? Mad Gear Zone. Yeah! You're not gonna ride this all the way around, are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's generally how gears work. Oh, this is taking forever. Sonic, I, 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 we've had nine levels, three bosses, and three rivals of non-stop, heart-pounding, boost in action. Sonic deserves some fun on a Ferris wheel, all right? <laughs> Look how slow he's going. <laughs> I know, this is what... Geez, so it's the bad. exact opposite of modern Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> this is like playing Sonic CD right now. This is, this is how CD was represented. Really bad platforming. That's right, I said it, retro fanboys. Come at me, bro. Fight me, IRL. Ah, uh, Time Eater. The, uh... Do we have to do this part, Tom? We do. We, we've, just, we've just got to finish things off, Gareth. Can I cry? During this part? <laughs> if you've got time to worry, then run. I just cry. If you've got time to commentate on the Time Eater, then, then cry. <laughs> Why is this? Why is this taking two minutes for us to get? So we we put the care symbols in into these gears, but then they gave them back to us. Okay. I I I don't understand that, Tom. I'm mad. I am actually mad now. It's a poor example of build up for this really poor reveal. Dun! It's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the last time we saw it, he was covered in purple stuff. Was all the purple stuff gone? Well. Th when you see who is controlling him, oh my god, it's Robotnik. Oh, no, no, that's Eggman. That's Eggman. Robotnik isn't here. What are you talking about, Tom? Oh, wait, there he is! It's the, uh, it's the plot twist everyone saw coming. Well, you know, if there wasn't that massive leak in Generations to begin with, I would have never known that classic Robotnik was going to be here. It's, oh, sorry, Dr. Eggman. He's now self-hating, apparently. I will say though, it is it is a nice in joke, which of course it doesn't appear at all in the Japanese version, but there is a nice in joke where he goes down to Robotnik, and this continuity, honest to God, continuity between games. Although I, we may have discussed this in colours. It's been a while since I recorded that, but I could have sworn the laser shooting into the moon was going to like release the time eater or something. Kind of like how you get dark guy in the centre of the earth. You get a being that can fuck up time in the centre of the moon. It's just how the Sonic universe works. <laughs> um. Well, okay. And if you blow up the sun, everyone dies. Kind of obvious, really. This really, these, this cutscene is really like the uh, Mike Pollock tour de force. It's just, every line he says here is just hilarious. Although the framing of the scene, and Stephen, you'll probably agree with me on this, it's just people standing around talking about what's going to happen. It's a bit of a far cry from, like, other Sonic things where people stand around, then turn super. Okay, I'm kind of full of shit right now. Well, I mean, if they're standing around, I don't really think the framing could help that. <laughs> That's more of an action thing. <laughs> I think the best thing here is that is that classic Eggman clearly has the same for modern Eggman. He's like, I can't believe I lose some weight, but I clearly become an insane fucktard. That was a really, really lame line. Well, you, you and what mustache? Yeah. I love this little sting here. Why couldn't this have been the final boss theme? It's so much more energetic and engaging than the Time Ears theme. Now, kind of like, kind of like, uh, 06, Sonic Team will obviously have a, uh, hard-on. Sonic being taken down extremely easily. 
You know, we, we played through this guy who's, you know, we just saw him take down a giant god of destruction. And yet, a clock peddling purple thing is, is going to kill him. Oh, okay. First, the clock king's ultimate form. Can't see the, see, I'm sorry, but if you can't defeat Batman, you can't defeat Sonic the Hedgehog. One of the things I will say, I know we touched upon the Hedgehog engine, but the flip, look, look how brightly coloured they are there. And it always bothered me, they should, because the hands above them, they should have been much darker shaded. You know what would have made that scene perfect? If after they got squashed, a little achievement popped up that said, talk to the hand. <laughs> ah! There it is, the infamous line. Now this, this is the one scene where like a lot of people who dislike the college writers, they like to bring up because yeah, the fact that they have just all their all the friends going, you can do it, Sonic. You go, Sonic. You rock, Sonic. Sonic, I believe in you. Okay, Sonic, go. Like, they yeah, go. but my favorite bit about that is Doctor Robotnik saying, "Who are they?" <laughs> <laughs> That's the that made me cry. I laughed so hard. And then modern Eggman says they're insignificant, which is how which is how a good portion of the fan base feel about them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Sonic 4 theme! Amazing! Uh, and from that theme to this battle, Steven, you haven't spoken much throughout this playthrough, so I'll give you a chance to air your grievances here. How do you feel about the Time Eater boss fight? I think I hate everything about this. It doesn't make any sense. It kind of reminds me of um, the special stages of Heroes. In fact, I would rather play the special stages of Heroes than play this boss, and that's really saying something. Like, you're supposed to get closer to him, but you can't. You just kind of wait for it to happen. It tells you to boost, like, right down the middle, but there's, like, some sort of gravity funnel, so if you're not dead on, you'll, like, uselessly hover around that little orb thing and not hit him at all. Yeah. It is, like, it's... I, I haven't ever played a game, anything like this, where I, I kind of, you know, I, I wasn't crazy about Planet Wish, but it's no way terrible, it's just kind of dull. Well, like, the entire game is kind of really good, up until the, the literally the last thing you do. Like, this is such a bad way to end this game. The first time I played it, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. It smacks of rush design, to be honest, and you know that goes hand in hand with the story elements that we drop. But it's not just on a technical level, you know, boring and unfun to play. The music is so goddamn dull that there is li it's literally lifeless. Like I have n I have no interest in this theme whatsoever. Well, see, I I disagree with you. I think I mean it's 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 not my favorite piece of music, and it did have to grow on me. But I actually quite like the the theme of the Time Eater. The theme of the time here itself as a character theme is great. As a battle theme, however, it falls flat. And on the other side of the audio department, you have the uh, Amigo characters, shall we say, spouting obvious facts every five seconds, and there is no option to turn them off whatsoever. So enjoy hearing, that looks like a homing shot. Be careful, Sonic, every five fucking seconds. I forget which one it is. It's, it's either Silver or Shadow is the only one to say that is a home and shot. Or the other one just like, that could be one, but I'm not really sure. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Cheeto Sonic. Don't eat it. <laughs> You've got to save the world, remember? Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> that would probably say easily the worst final boss in any Sonic game. Any 3D Sonic game at least. I'm trying to come up with positives for this fight, and t to be honest, I'm kind of struggling. Um, in the interest of fairness, I'll say that graphically at least, it looks nice. Uh, the obstacles that you can use Classic Sonic to destroy are actually set pieces taken from other levels in the game. Sky Sanctuary's ruins and so on. And the time he uh, himself looks pretty good. But besides that, I don't know really. The whole fight could have been so much more exciting. Helldragon often tells me that he thinks it would be cool if the Time Eater used attacks from other final bosses in the franchise. And while some of his attacks do kind of resemble moves used by other final bosses, uh, like Perfect Chaos' lasers, the Time Freeze move being reminiscent of Metal Overlord's Chaos Control attack, uh, it just seems like they wanted to get the game over and done with and not put much effort into the final boss. Imagine a final boss where he not only utilizes moves from other final bosses, but maybe even turns into them at some point. Maybe not bosses like Perfect Chaos and so on, since he's already in the game, uh, but now that the Time Eater's part robot, you could work a lot of Robotnik's old mechs in. 
Uh, granted, this would make it more of a boss rush fight more than a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing, but given the fact that the rest of the game is remaking and celebrating elements of Sonic's past, I think the final boss following suit would be a neat touch. As is, it's just a giant purple robot that kind of appears out of nowhere, who offers very little challenge, has poor boss music and drags down an otherwise extremely enjoyable game. I wanted to like it, but at the end of the day it is what it is and the time eater fight just isn't that great. And now it's over, so thanks Sonic Team I guess. And uh, not a single. Well, like, where are we exactly? What is this place we're fighting in? Time. We're fighting in time. Exactly. But we did that in 06! Diddle it, diddle it, boink. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog is a game about animals who save animals from people and travel through time. Don't get me started on Christopher Walking Throughs. Trust me, I'll be here all day. Love that Sonic 2 one. Now wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. Silver and Shadow weren't invited to this party, get the fuck out of here. The invitations have been revised. Oh, congratulations, Knuckles, once again you've been made a joke. Thanks a lot, Sonic Team and college writers. <sighs> Call me a fan, but I don't like it when they make Knuckles into a complete joke. And that is like the one kind of meta joke they have in this entire game. Where does he put all those rings? I don't know. I forgot to ask. <laughs> I took it as very dirty. Where does he put all those rings? You don't want to know. <laughs> That made me crack up with laughter the first time I heard it. Uh, I should probably just say that is the air boost, it's not the homing attack. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, it's clearly the mid-air spin dash, what are you talking about? It's clearly Big's fishing upgrades. Original the power-up, do not steal. Now, we sadly don't have enough time to go in-depth with our thoughts of Generation, so you'll have to wait until the Generations 3DS finale for that, which is coming up right now. The only thing I'll say is that me and N Tom are technically in this game, and uh, you aren't Steven, so fuck you. Happy birthday, Sonic!
Are you sure you saw a door over here? What? You were the one who said you saw a door over here! Well, I know it was one of us. Shut up and keep looking. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that! Do we ever win? That depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic! Oh, well then no. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do.